Hello, welcome to Addison's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. He is... Andy from Roland. Hello. That's the Maltese Falcon. Woo! And we've got a series of videos out on the RD88. When's it coming out? Uh, end of March, so end of this month. Killer. Mm. And we've done a video with some talking, showing you through the features, done a video with no talking. This one is a bit of a masterclass on using it with a program called Mainstage, right? Yep. Tell so, us why it's good with Mainstage. So uh, Mainstage, for those of you who don't know, it's a program that's made by Apple. It's kind of like uh, Logic, but without the sequencer in a way. So it's a way that you can access all of your uh, you know, synth plugins mm -hmm. uh, and apply all the effects and everything from your computer, but then sort of use that in a live It's not a lot of money either. So if you don't have it, have a look at it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty affordable. And then if you've got you know, all your favorite synth patch plugins and stuff, you can load those mm -hmm. in and use them in a live situation, combine them with backing tracks and stuff, which is cool. Uh, and it's, it's a proper sort of industry standard tool in the yes. live arena. What's really, really good about the RD88 is I mentioned that you uh, have uh, three layers that you can do, you know, so you could layer three sounds on here, mm -hmm. but actually it's got really good main stage integration. So actually, instead of using sounds on here, you could use sounds from main stage or mix and match. Uh, you can also do this on all the RD2000 and the Phantom as well. Mm -hmm. What's really good about the Phantom and this though is that we have uh, some main stage control sort of built into it straight away. So if uh, we've got this piano sound on here, if I go to DAW control mode and uh, turn up the volume of main stage, so now... So now we're blending the piano sound from this but using a patch on main stage. So in this screen, you can see what the uh, patches are and we can use these buttons over here to flick through them. So if I wanted to go to like glass bells. Yeah. And I hope you can see that on the screen uh, above it. But if, if you can't, what I think is amazing is that showing me the, the patch name. Yeah. On here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you don't have to see it. You know, you don't have to look at the computer. The computer doesn't have to be yeah. in there, and you can use you can use these uh, sort of uh, buttons to sort of jump through different patches. And I stuff used to run it. it in clamshell mode. I don't know they still call it there, where I could run my oh, laptop okay. shut. Right. Okay. Uh, but again, I, I would have to be very careful in the planning. I wish I could have had a screen just yeah, 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 telling yeah. me that I'm on the same same page. Which is cool. And then uh, the other thing as well is when you hit this button that says assign then uh, these eight knobs on the left-hand side here uh, automatically are mapped to the eight first eight Come controls on. that are on here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go to... So that's the internal piano, just so I can hear it. I played that for ages. And uh, you don't have to assign any of those. You know, they're, they're yeah. already, you install this uh, main stage profiler, the lap that we have, and uh, and then everything's automatically assigned. And do you have, really... say I want to use it with just Logic, do you have any different profiles? Uh, yeah, so just for Logic and main stage. That's cool. Apple make those development yeah, codes available. What's great, great is if you don't want to fork out for main stage, uh, it, uh, it being useful as a door controller in yeah. Logic is killer. I mean, you can still, uh, I mean... Even, you could assign all the CCs. Yeah, what, yeah, whatever door you're using, it'll still, you know, send MIDI information over three different channels and whatnot, and you can blend that through. Mm -hmm. But to have that, uh, to have it where it's on the screen and uh, and those sort of pre-mapped controls is just... And to flick through your patches without having like to put foot switches in and things yeah, like yeah. that. So it's really handy and really useful, as I say, because so many people use main stage. And I only get on my soapbox about, I believe in keyboards like this, and they're pretty new for multiple reasons why this is good for you. If you are at home and you're thinking of buying a MIDI controller just mm. for your at-home recording setup, people are obsessed with, like, what's the best MIDI controller? I think some of the best ones are stage pianos for these reasons. In that two minute period where the computer's whirring up, you'll be playing mm. because it's got speakers in it. And you don't have to wait for your speakers to turn on. There's something so immediate about that in yeah. the creative process or... Um, or even if your computer's not that fast, 
And if you're using software, you get latency and things yeah. rather than having sound. Yeah, just good. general, like, a, a lot of the time they're sat in a room and people will just want to turn it on and get yeah, something yeah. instant and it kills the vibe, man. Also, with this, you've got Pitch Ben and Mod. I know they're tiny, but they're doing the job. And then with that integration and the fact that this works as an audio interface, essentially, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And then the sound comes out of these speakers. Pfft, unreal, man. Mm, it's really, really good. Cool. Mic input. So I reckon you could probably route that in and do some vocoding, or if you're a one-man band, you could probably set it up so you've got your vocal effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's not it's not XLR, is it? No, no, it's not. No. But you know, most people are rocking a. Um, it's got it'll have a preamp in it. Yeah, yeah, it's got a mic preamp. Yeah, yeah so yeah. It, even just a 58 to a jack would be good. Anyway, mm. off my soapbox. Yeah, yeah, Down. yeah. I like it. It's good, but it's just another way. It's another way of expanding. It's and got, it's the full yeah. whack Roland action, isn't it? Uh, this is so. This is. It's got our, escapement. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got escapement. It's, it's, Feels like wood. We call it PHA four, so it's progressive hammer action. Mm -hmm. um, it's not quite as nice as the one that's in the RD two thousand. That's still the flagship one. Mm -hmm. That's got the full wooden keys, and because that's a bigger, bigger package, but it's got, got like a your back key will feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is uh, pretty light, right? Yeah, thirteen and a half kilo, so very light for taking. Come around, on, you know? and really compact as well. It's all it is shoved in. Something I like, like it a lot. Mm. How much is it going to be? Uh, Can we say? Uh, the RRP, I think, is just over £1,000. OK. So. But, again, you know, depending on what's going on with old Donald, we'll throw Donald in the mix. He's causing more trouble than Boris at the moment. <laughs> so we'll blame it on Donald with the price changes. Could you give the beloved Falcon a choice of patch? Yeah, so... Because um, he, he's really good at choosing. Just cho like, think of the most interesting names and he'll choose the best one. We've got Electric Buzz. Cosmic insects, or sea of glass, or even space glitters. Oh, it's a tough one. I know which one he's going to go for. Going to be cosmic insects. Exactly, cosmic <laughs> insects. The thing is, once you say it out loud to him, you know where you should go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you're lost, and then you speak to the falcon. You're there. There we go, cosmic insects. Right, and then hopefully we'll escape. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, as you hopefully look through our other videos. We'll read it, appreciate the hate, and we'll learn from it. Key, please. C. Oh, thank you, mate. I'm going to go for some of this.